Right, we're talking to uh, Tom Hode, who's of course uh, an Australian water polo legend, who's just been uh, elevated to the International Swimming Hall of Fame, will be inducted in Fort Lauderdale, uh, Florida, over in the USA next May. Now, Tom, what, what's the feeling of joining uh, Bill Burge Phillips and uh, Debbie Watson as uh, Australian I'm not so water polo icons? about joining Bill Burge Phillips and Debbie Watson. I'm more embarrassed by joining the people who have actually won some gold medals. Russell. That, that's the hard part. The only consolation this time around, I think there's a guy coming in with us, uh, Prince Alfred of Monaco, who should be more embarrassed than I am by being named with those legends. Uh, what do you think uh, Ian Thorpe's going to say when he looks around and sees me and say, well, which gold medals did you win, lad? And I say, I can't remember winning a game or getting a touch of the ball. We've got to put in here, Tom, you're, you're down as a contributor, an eight-time Olympian, uh, a complete legend for being involved in the game. You're out uh, here at uh, uh, the Challenge Pool this afternoon coaching your team in the uh, Perth uh, Premier League. Yeah, so we just it's... lost the game by stupidity of playing, so the players haven't got any cleverer, in my opinion, over the years. Look <laughs> quite the reverse. But anyway... Got, got nothing to do with the coaching? Moment. Got no, nothing to do with the coaching, though, Tom? Well, for sure, the coaching's at fault, too. <laughs> So what about, I mean, 60-odd uh, years or something now? We're, we're losing count on the number of years. You know, you've been around for a long time. Yeah, possibly, most would say too long. My wife included, Russell. <laughs> but the alternatives are go home or get down the pool. And the, and see you, boys. And uh, if you said to me, which do I prefer, I think down the pool is the better alternative. Now, would you rather be uh, getting uh, gold medals like Ian Thorpe or doing what you're doing now with uh, refereeing, no, I, I coaching live in, rather? I live in hope that before I die, Australian men will win a, a medal. But my realistic observation, I think the coaching is good. Uh, I think we still don't start early enough in Australia. Our skills aren't good enough to get to the required level. I hope I'm wrong. I, I would... I, it would be the greatest pleasure of my life to see Australia win a medal in the Olympic Games. But I don't think I'll be around to see it, unfortunately. Tom, you're, you're going to be around forever, we know that. Uh, yeah, you, you, you're you're never not at the pool. Are, are there any, is there a day at all that you don't go to the pool? Oh, I go down, but I'm not working there all the time. I'm relaxing. I'm enjoying it. So I do still do a bit of quite a bit of coaching at school, at the school team and young kids, where they're a bit more flexible and a bit more uh, interested in learning. And when you're talking to Ian Thorpe, uh, what sort of advice are you going to give him? And uh, when I he gets to that dotage, I won't be talking, and he'll be saying, "Who's this guy next to me? I've never heard of him." That's going to be the embarrassing part. I'll get at the other end of the queue, next to Prince Alfred of Monaco, because at least he and I will have. Two things in common, neither of us will have deserved to have been nominated yet. I hope he doesn't read this on our website, he probably won't speak to me anyway. <laughs> hey, cheers Tom, congratulations thanks. on this uh, accolade and uh, keep up the good work. Okay, thanks.